It may be almost impossible to resist picking up these two little baby animals that you may find in your own backyard. But did you know that these two particular species may be most hazardous to your health if they're not left in their natural habitat? Now little skunks, even at this size, they can spray. So I'm going to hold her away from my face. And a little raccoon, even at this size, both species can be carrying the rabies virus even at this age and harboring it and could still be very dangerous to handle. Let me tell you what to do if you see a baby animal in your own backyard. Now the first thing is you don't want to presume that it's orphaned because the mother could be in the area. Now if the animal is by himself for up to a day, there's a good chance that he might be abandoned. Call a local wildlife rehabilitator or your local animal control and both will help you not only save these little guys but keep yourself safe as well. When dealing with baby skunks and baby raccoons, the best way to keep yourself safe and protect these little guys is to leave it to the professionals. First, their mother, and second, your local rehabber or animal control officer.